All right, what's going on, fam? Today is October 26th, 2015, and I have a ton of workout footage for you all. There's been lots of raining and flooding here in Houston recently, and so I haven't been recording too much outside of the gym, but I've been recording every single workout that's been going down, and so I have three separate workouts for you all, and then there's a ton of vlogging footage at the end of this video. But uh, to hop right into it, the name of this video is something along the lines of Guitar Hero or The Guitar Hero, uh, something like that, and so I figured you know, that's gonna make sense later in the video, but I figured in order to tie it in um, to this earlier section of the video, I would actually pull up some pictures from my high school years. So you guys could see sort of where I came from, what, you know, where I started and things like that. Everyone starts from a different point. Some people start out uh, 15, 16 with the 20, 25% body fat. I was quite the opposite as you were gonna see right here. Uh, so this is me at 15, 16 years old, uh, sophomore and junior year of high school. I think here I might have been 16 or 17, um, but you can see the lack of muscle mass. Uh, and I had actually been training for about two years at that point, um, but not really specifically bodybuilding training or anything like that. But the point of showing you those pictures was I want to really just say and show that everyone starts at a different point. Like I said, um, growing up in high school, that's typically the time most people start working out. And to be completely honest, you can be honest with yourself and I'm just speaking my opinion, but most of us will start working out, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old in high school, either for sports, if you're, you know, involved in athletics and football or basketball or soccer, whatever it is, baseball, or because you want to look better to get the girls. You know, you want to get the girls, get the body, start building some arms, build a bigger chest and things like that. And that was honestly no different for me. Um, when I was going into high school, my right when high school started, that's when I very first started training. Um, I signed up for the strength and conditioning program. And so every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I would go in and we would do three separate, it was like divided into three different categories. You had your strength, which you did about 20 minutes of, which was either a squat or a bench press uh, or you know a compound movement. Then you would have your accessory movements and then you would have your auxiliary movement. So, you know, your, your sprints and your, your working on sport conditioning, things like that, cone drills and rope climbs and all that kind of stuff. And so it wasn't specific to what my goal is now, which is building muscle, you know, building my physique and things like that. But it set consistency in my mind. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I never missed. I was always, always there. Um, and it got me dedicated. So I loved having that structure. And I think that's so important for everyone to find that structure, um, whether it be setting a goal of going every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or working out four days a week, or even two times a week, just starting and uh, figuring out a way to get you in the gym and keeping you consistent with going. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys those pictures. I know I'm kind of rambling now, but everyone starts from a certain point and whatever your goal is to shed fat, to build muscle, to uh, get heavier and actually fill out your shirts. That's where I came from. Um, and so I know a lot of you guys can relate growing up really skinny. And so there is hope. I promise you my number one tip is stay in a surplus and don't worry so much about staying so lean all the, all the time. Um, I would definitely say, try to stay under if you are a really lean guy. Um, I would say try to stay under about a 15% body fat at all times. That's my personal opinion. But, um, don't be afraid to eat. Do not be afraid to eat and you will grow. So that's where I came from and moving on to these workouts. Today was a, or this was a squat day. You're gonna see some footage from the squat workout. I wanted to complete three sets of five reps with 365 pounds. And this day I had a lot of problems with my alignment. So freaking annoying. I hate talking about it because I feel like it's just repetitive and kind of like an excuse, but um, my setup kept, kept taking me a very long time. So I would you know, unrack the weight, walk it back, and it would take me a few seconds to find what was comfortable. And a lot of times I would even perform one rep as you saw in this clip right here, and then have to readjust again, which is just so frustrating. Um, I feel like I have so much, I feel like I'm really strong, honestly, for my body weight and for my size, for my structure. I feel like I'm strong, but especially on squats, I feel like I am limited because of the amount of time and mental fatigue it takes me to set up properly. Um, but yeah, that was the squat footage and I'm moving on to this workout right here, which I'm gonna talk a lot about the workout now that we sort of talked about transitioning and transformations and um, focusing on becoming a better version of yourself. So here we started out with the, ugh, sorry, I moved my pop filter, the uh, incline barbell bench press. I was using 235 pounds, 
and completing, I wanted to complete three sets of six total reps. Now, only doing three sets of six, so I wanted to use the 235 pounds every single set. So here you can see, um, I'm going fairly wide and keep my, el my elbows pretty tucked in. My a big tip on barbell, guys, so many people say, oh, I hate barbell, I, I only like doing dumbbells because a barbell hurts my wrist and things like that. But if you notice here, emphasize keeping your wrist straight on the bench. If you can keep your wrist straight and focus on keeping your wrist straight as opposed to letting them bend back, so replacing the bar and letting it bend your wrist back, that's how you get prone to energy, that, in, injury. That's how you get hurt. So be sure you're keeping the wrist straight and pushing up um, while keeping that wrist straight. And you know you can try using wrist wraps if you want, but I highly recommend just don't use anything. You know, Don't wrap up your hands every single time. Just try to master the movement without you know using a belt, without using wraps and things like that so you don't get so used to them. But the next movement after the incline barbell went really heavy there was four sets of paused reps here. So I'm only using 55 pounds here, guys. A big thing is ego. Do not let your ego get in the way of your training ever. Uh, you know, I can flat bench press 365 pounds. I've done that. And here I'm only using 55 pound dumbbells for four sets of 12 reps. And there's no shame in using 35s or 30s or 45s, whatever you need to use uh, to be able to complete your reps, to be able to use proper form. I, I cannot emphasize enough, guys. Form is everything. Like, absolutely everything. You, there's no point in trying to lift heavy if your form looks like crap. Uh, one, your form looks like crap. You're not hitting the direct muscles that you're trying to hit. Two, your risk of injury is so high because um, I'm just picturing like, you know, when I go to these public gyms and things, I see so much of it. Just people trying to ego lift and lift as heavy as they can. But I promise you all, if you take a few steps back and slowly increment your weights and be sure your form is close to perfect your form's never going to be absolutely perfect especially like on a compound you're always going to want to tweak something i've been tweaking things for my whole life i'm 22 years old right now but i'm still tweaking my squat and my bench and all things like that but you want to get accustomed to the movements and uh definitely definitely take your time when you're incrementing and it'll be so much more beneficial to take your time take a few steps back relearn the movement if you have to and then progress forward but uh after the incline paused bench i like to hold it for one mississippi and then come up and i probably like 12 reps with pause reps that's a long set guys it's physically a long set probably about a minute or even a little bit over a minute but uh definitely definitely try that out moved on to an incline dumbbell fly followed by a side lateral tricep push down with the tricep push downs i'm trying to all my sets i'm using the entire stack 150 pounds um which is my the stack that we have and I'm trying to get used to that I want to complete all my sets in that 8 to 10 rep range and then eventually as I get stronger I'll be able to do four sets of 10 to 12 and then four sets of 15 and then I can add some weight but uh, tricep push downs are definitely a movement that I do every single time I train my triceps um, every single time like regardless I always do one push down movement uh, here you're seeing a close grip bench which I'm honestly not a huge fan of but I want to start incorporating it and see if I sort of can re-fall in love with it from, I used to do it when I was first starting out and see if I can, uh, you know, sort of work my way up on that. But if you notice, if you go back to the footage, you'll see that I'm at a very uh, shoulder width position. I don't like going too close. That's going to put a lot of strain and pressure on your wrist. And I don't like going too wide because you're involving more chest. So I recommend going right at shoulder width, keeping your wrist straight and focusing on pushing through your triceps as opposed to pushing with your chest. Um, finish off with some over the head rope extensions and some ab crunches right here. And that's going to conclude this commentary. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And there's a ton of vlog footage coming soon. The breast cancer shirt here, uh, it's the last week of October, is available at alphaleteathletics.com as well as our joggers. So be sure to go check that out. And I will see you and talk to you in the next one. You so guys ready? Oh, oh, oh. Stay in all up, in all up. Come on. You want to another come? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. What's the plan? We're going to run a game stop. Uh, I will head to the house. Hi, girls. All right, guys. As you can see, uh, raining here in Houston. It's been raining all weekend. <laughs>
It's been raining all weekend. Uh, Hurricane Patricia is not too far from us. So last time it was pretty bad for the storming. But I'm sorry for the wind trying to cover it. We're about to go. Just Joe and I, we're going to run to GameStop because it's been super stormy and been pretty lazy this weekend, not going to lie. So we're going to go and grab the new Guitar Hero and play some Guitar Hero. So that's what we're about to do. Daniel just got a he traded in this car. He got one of these dream cars. It's a 911. A 2013 911. It's pretty sick. I've never been a big Porsche guy, but pretty nice. So now, um, yeah, we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna lock up real quick, and I'll see y'all at the game stop. Phone is shattered. You know what, what kind of bugs me? I feel whenever people like, obviously your phone shattered, and they're like, "Oh my God, what happened?" It's like, obviously it dropped the phone. <laughs> it fell and it cracked. <laughs> Not too many things that can happen. Not gonna lie, we've been to this GameStop like three times. This is the third time this week. Joe and I came this week to buy 2K16, and uh, I won two out of three. Wait, would you come again? And then Nikki got assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like so just rainy and chill, guys. So, uh, yeah. Also, quick update we're gonna be in New York uh, this coming weekend uh, for Halloween, so we'll be there like. Flying Thursday, we leave Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we leave Tuesday. We're gonna go visit my brother. Uh, my family's gonna go visit my brother and spend a weekend there. So, possibly do something on Monday in New York. I don't know. He's at NYU, so we're in that area. Bro, I saw this. Uh, I was watching Shark Tank this morning, and I saw this new drone that can go at 60 miles an hour. And it inverts. Shit. For filming or just for like flying around? It was actually like six hundred dollars. Not bad. Yeah, it was a pretty good deal. Here they ran out of the two pack, so they just sell the game with one guitar. So uh, Joe has a PS4 and I have a PS4. So I got one guitar with the game, and Joe got the game as well. So we're gonna go to the townhome and play. Let me show you. All right. So this is not the same guitar here as it used to be. I've never played with this one, but this one you actually have like two layers, three frets each. These are frets, guys, by the way, frets. Uh, but you have the bottom and the top. So it used to just be like five buttons, four buttons, whatever. And now it's uh, two layer. Nikki did some rearranging. I'll show y'all. Here's the trash. This is like the game room, I guess you call it. Her, uh, her office room. Desk, got a husky. This thing's new. Couch, little setup. Then you got our bedroom, which this is how it looks right now. Walk in, you got the bathroom. And here, you got that nightstand, mirror, a Joe, TV, and here's the guitars. Black and gold. Is it hard to build? Is it hard to build? Yeah, it's good. Where's the strap at? I haven't played this game in like seven years. So, guys, pretty much with guitar, the lower you have the strap, like the more aesthetic it looks. <laughs> and the higher you have it, <laughs> <laughs> so you want to keep it pretty low. <laughs> Let's try something. Hopefully I don't break anything. Got the, uh... Hey, how's it sound? Wow. Yeah, that's Tied. It. <laughs> it's a lot harder, guys. It's got, you have chords and you have like, you have two strings. All right, got it. What the hell is that? 
What was that cord? That was like a, that was a three-way. Three-way. Nikki Storm. Watch this shield. Put her on basic mode. She's just hustling us. Alright. Oh, those are just open strums. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. We had to change her to a uh, casual instead of basic. Get it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. If I'm not getting it, you have it. Okay. Nikki advanced to uh, normal, which is the third best one, that third out of five, as far as difficulty. All right, we're taking a break from Guitar Hero, and we are coming to get some wings at Wingstop. It's my favorite wing place. All right, we are taking a break. What? <laughs> just, you just like feel like <laughs> Wingstop. All right. Back Wingstop now, you. now we're at Wings and Things because the first thing the guy told us at the other restaurant was, "Hey, two out of three of our fryers are broken, so it'll be like 45 minutes before you get your wings. So like, we'll go somewhere else." So this is my second favorite place, Wings and Things, here in Sugarland. Uh, get some food. Uh, we're gonna do the 50 bone-in hot wings okay. with a large curly fry for an appetizer. And I'm gonna get it to go uh, order as well uh, in a little bit. Thank you, man. And water. What the hell, man? <laughs> Here's 25 and there's 25. Let the challenge begin. Thank you all for watching. I'll, I'll see you next time. And uh, thank you for your support. See how nice to you. <laughs> oh, I missed it.